guys what's going on my name is Louis, and god bless every single one of you today is october 20 2023 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here serious escalation there are early reports of idf soldiers being seriously impacted in northern israel as strike by Hezbollah in Lebanon pick up significantly. The IDF says more than 30 anti-tank rockets were launched at troops. All right, we're gonna see what's going on here, guys. All this information is coming out right now, uh, 13 minutes ago. Uh, it says here, extensive airstrikes by the Israeli Air Force against Hezbollah military and infrastructure targets in southern Lebanon are currently ongoing. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here. And if you can, please share the video. Uh, I want to show you this one here too, guys. So it says we are fighting for our existence, says the Israeli army. With a new video, it prepares for the invasion of Gaza. All right, so once again, uh, please share the video. Let me take you to this, uh, this one right here, bring you all the updates. Now, this here is huge. Uh, you guys already know this happened yesterday, or I think the day before yesterday. Uh, you had the USS Destroyer uh, has taken out two missiles that was fired from Yemen. Uh, it was heading towards the Holy Land. But here's the up updates, and it says here, multiple U.S. defense officials are now reporting that the interception over the Red Sea almost two nights ago by the USS Carne were much more significant than had previously been stated, with the destroyer said to have intercepted at least four land strike cruise missiles and 15 drones launched by the hoodies, all within a nine-hour period in which the targets were detected following the coast with Saudi in the Red Sea and were clearly aimed at the Holy Land. Well, one thing I tell you, that sleeping giant USS destroyer was lucky to be there because if those missiles would have hit the Holy Land, uh, this war would have been much more crazy. All right, so let's get out of here for a second. Give me, let me see. I'm just bringing you a lot of information here. I just got home doing a couple of errands. So it says reported video of UAV interception over Northern Israel. You got two wounded as, uh, Israeli soldiers have been airlifted to Ramban Hosp in the, in this region for moderate uh, injuries following clashes. Man, they really going at it, guys. So you have the Israeli and Hezbollah really going at it along the border with Lebanon, which is reported to have taken out at least two additional soldiers. But this here, this, uh, this is the latest one, which is very concerning. Hmm. All right. Um, also, we do have more breaking news updates. I want to show you something really quick here. Um, there was a nuclear test that occurred a couple of days ago. So the sleeping giant conducts nuclear tests in Nevada hours after the bear moved to revoke global test ban. All right, this is something that uh, a lot of people don't know, but uh, yeah, the U.S. conducts nuclear tests, which is uh, very, very, very important to know, especially with all these war that's going on. Uh, we are seeing that, that many, many nations are taking out. See, again, this happened the same time that you have Vladimir and his uh, bodyguards were walking around with that... Uh, nuclear suitcase which is the codes to launch the uh, nuke so this happened at the same time vladimir had his people walking around with that suitcase 
so uh, with the briefcase. So again, all these signs is very important um, to look out for. It gives an idea where we are right now. Because believe it or not, the TV, the NEWS, they're not telling you none of this type of stuff. So it's very important to stay prepared spiritually, physically, and mentally. Here's another one. Instead of trying to get $100 billion, let's get $105 billion. Just the number keep uh, going up. The number keeps going up. Uh, so $105 billion package, including UKR and the Holy Land. You see, guys? Uh, so now the sudden border is not in there and Taiwan is not in there. Now, all of a sudden, is UKR in the Holy Land. It's like the musical chair. You know, you, you, uh, you go around and when the music stop, you got to sit down and stuff like that. Well, the southern border is out. Uh, and now Taiwan is out. It's only UKR in the Holy Land. <laughs> Man, which one is going to take it? I'm kidding, guys. But uh, a lot of this money will go to multiple uh, areas. Um, 105 billion dollars that's a lot oh by the way uh, this information came out about an hour ago you have Aza Hamas uh, says two of the sleeping giant hostages released all right so there's a possibility who knows maybe they're trying to work things out and say hey uh you know, we can end all this. We just want the Holy Land to stop bombing. The Holy Land is not going to stop, though. Here's the number. As of war, number rises to 4,137. 13,000 injured. They're really, really asking the Holy Land to stop the bombing. All right, give me a second here, guys. I want to see if there's any more information. I want to take it to the news article um, concerning the, the preparation of the invasion. Give me a second here. Okay, so this is the one that I just mentioned about the USS destroyer that intercepted four cruise missile and 15 drones. In a period of nine hours. Fifty nine seconds ago. The first image of the look at this. The first image of this two uh American Israeli hostages, Ju uh, Judith and Natalie since they were released from the Aza Strip earlier today by Amaz. So these are the two that were released. One and two. All right, two of them released. Big breaking news. These are the first image 59 seconds ago um, of the two American Israeli hostages. Uh, I'm, I'm just skipping, uh, skipping the words here, guys. Twenty three, <clears throat> excuse me, 23 seconds ago. Unconfirmed reports that humanitarian aid trucks had begun to cross from this area into the Aza. All right. So that information is coming out right now. I'm just bringing you guys all the updates, but uh, I will talk more about the IDF.
37 minutes ago. Tensions escalate. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. You see that? Man, you see that? Wow. Okay, so this is the serious escalation going on right now. Let me just read this really quick. So breaking news, tensions escalate in the Holy Land Lebanon conflict. Al Mayadeen reports the Hezbollah alleged taking out three ID, you know, was soldiers. Ongoing clashes on the Lebanon Holy Land border characterized as a serious escalation by the IDF spokesperson. Now, Lebanon Fire Fighting Organization uh, expresses resources and personnel limitation for war uh, response. Uh, the Middle East Airlines in Lebanon relocates 60% of its plane to Turkey for insurance. Simultaneously, a barrage of rockets from Aza targets Ashkelon, Holy Land. Now the Holy Land responds with airstrike on Aza. The situation intensifies, raising the risk of Lemon involvement in a conflict to its most critical level yet. And that's why they were telling people to get out of Dodge ASAP. And that's what's going on right now. Mm. All right, give me a second here, guys. All right, so give me one second here, guys. All right, so I kind of... I'm looking for my uh, the window that I just had open and I lost it. Um, all right, let me just take it here. All right, so that's the latest information. I'm just going to take it to this news right here. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you a couple of more stuff on Twitter. But uh, we are fighting for our existence, says the Israeli army, with a new video it prepares for invasion of Aza. Man. Holy Land got to deal with Lebanon and now Aza. Sorry, guys. I truly apologize about that. So here we go. So you have with the war between the Holy Land, Hamas at a critical juncture, time is, by all indication, counting down for the ground invasion of Aza. A first glimpse of how they might conduct their ground operation was provided earlier by the Holy Land with the country's defense minister explaining that the invasion could be carried out in three phases. Now, guys, remember I told you that Saturday was, that I called Saturday, it was going to be that invasion event. So, 
And for some reason, the reason why I picked Saturday is because you got so many people out there in the Holy Land. You had the president, you had the uh, Speaker of the House. And now that they left, there's a lot of weapons coming in. And it seems like we're getting closer to the invasion, which could start uh, tomorrow. So at the same time, video before the ground operation in Aza was uploaded by the Holy Land Army on Twitter with a message that reflects his intention to fight until the end. We are defending our homes, our people, our very existence, says the IDF spokesman. We are defending to prevent or ensure that the atrocity that took place on the 7th never happen again. Our starters reserves, they are all real people, lawyers, electricians, teachers, sons, daughters, fathers, and mothers. Many of us have lost loved ones. We have left everything behind to fight on the front lines and defend our families. We have no choice but to fight for our safety and existence. We will defeat Amas in a battle and help Southern Holy Land prosper again. King David is probably saying, hey, I want to join this battle too. Uh, so we are prepared for a wider conflict. Warns at the same time, uh, the Holy Land army, while Amas uh, continues to uh, continue the bombings and Hezbollah escalates its attack. In one of the latest messages, the Holy Land army made it clear again that it will fight until the you know what palace organization is defeated. It's not the palace people, it's those running. Uh, those areas, all right, Amas and all them, uh, all them, uh, all those in the spotlight. All right, guys, I'm not gonna play the video. Um, and I just got an email about 40 minutes ago. Yes, a nice email from the platform. Um, uh, one of my videos was taken out. So I gotta be careful with certain things I play, guys. And this is the reason why you see my thumbnail. I changed the the picture of my videos because I just feel like you know the platform is seeing all the the bombing backgrounds and all that. So I'm not using no uh no no pictures for thumbnails. I'm just putting the red color or the white color. So we fight for our existence. Uh, the IDF spokesperson said. The message of the Minister of Defense of the Holy Land. Earlier at a meeting of the Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee, the Minister of Defense um, said that after the Holy Land first eliminates Amaz, it will create a new security regime in the Aza Strip without any influence on the lives of the, resist, uh, of the residents. He also said that October 7 is the day the process of eliminating you know who began. Galad explained that the invasion is divided into three phases. The first of which is a military campaign by fire and later by maneuver, the purpose of which is a which is to destroy Amas, operatives, and damage their infrastructure in order to destroy the organization. Then, according to him, the fighting will continue with a lower intensity. Alright, so that's their plan, their idea. So I'm just going to skip a lot of this stuff here, guys. The IDF must be prepared for this. Lieutenant Colonel Peter uh, told the news on Friday. He notes that the military has called up about 300,000 reservists in order to prepare for the possibility of a wider conflict. 300,000 reservists. Wow. The Holy Land military said that while reserves will be concentrated in Aza, the IDF has strengthened its forces along the northern border with Lebanon, where Hezbollah, the Persian backed group movement, has increasingly clashed with his army, uh, Holy Land, last week. All right. On Friday, today, October the 20th, 
The Holy Land Defense Ministry uh, said at least 23,000 residents of the town of Kuryat Smolna, uh, which is near the border with Lebanon, were told to leave, to evacuate. In addition to an earlier plan to evacuate 28 communities living within two kilometers of the Lebanese border. Leonard holds the Lebanese Gov responsible for Hezbollah actions, uh, saying it is a Soviet state which control over its borders and therefore has the responsibility to make sure that the T groups, like Hezbollah, a T army, don't unleash strikes against the Holy Land. He also claimed that Hezbollah, under the guidance and encouragement of Persia, is trying to distract us. All right, some very important words by the Israeli army coming out today. And at the same time, there is clashes going on between uh, the Holy Land and Lebanon. Let me just pull up the information. We have some more breaking news three minutes ago. Now the real question is, where did this group come from and who is giving the support? It's support. Give me a second here. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Who are these groups they talking about? You have the Islam resistance in Iraq has claimed responsibility for a drone strike earlier today against the sleeping giant forces. Wow. Wow. At uh, Al Harry Air Base in the Erbil region of northwestern Iraq. If these statements are true, this previously unknown T group has now launched at least a rocket and drone strike against sleeping giant soldiers within Siri and Iraq over the last 72 hours. You guys notice? While Mr. Burns, the leader, the leader of the sleeping giant, addressed the nation, now once did he mention about the sleeping giant soldiers being impacted? Now once did he mention? Yes, at the very end of the speech, he say, may God bless America and God bless the troops. We want to update. All he cared about is money, money, money in UKR, 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 money, 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 and more UKR. All right. So very important information coming out right now, guys. We need to pray for the sleeping giant soldiers. Definitely. Now, the real question again is where did this group come from and who is giving it support? But I think that it's pretty obvious. Persia, I smell Persia, Iran. Now, we all know that. All right, so give me a second here, guys. So, we are seeing that uh, Persia is giving a lot of money. So many groups to go do their thing, the hoodies and all these other ones that is uh, causing massive uh, events in various places. Remember the bus load I told you guys and I post that video late last night. That bus load and it seems like all them groups are heading to their destination and do some impact. On the Holy Land and not only the Holy Land, but also the sleeping giant forces. What's was this? There we go. Once again, you have America, England, Germany, Russia, Canada, Belgium, and Oman in recent hours asked their citizen to leave, to get out of Dodge, man. <laughs> leave Lebanon. Leave. Leave. Serious escalations going on, man. About to hit the fan pretty soon. This here is going to be my next video, ladies and gentlemen. North K has threatened nuclear on the sleeping giant. Do not fall asleep on North K.
K. Urgent. Do not fall asleep on North K. Urgent. Evacuation order for Al Qud, Hosp, and Aza. So a dire situation, the Palace Reg uh, Crescent has just reported that its staff at this region in Aza has been uh, contacted by occupation authorities in order to evacuate immediately under the threat of impending strikes. At present, the hospital is providing care to approximately 400 uh, patients and offering shelter to over 12,000 displaced Palace. Now the situation is critical and efforts to ensure the safety of patients and the displaced population are ongoing. Hospital should not be a target. I agree. Hospital should not. Again, you want to go launch all this stuff, whatever, but outside, nowhere near the hospital. So, uh, guys, this here is going to be my next video. Uh, we're going to talk more about this. And also, I got some videos coming up. North K has warned nuclear under sleeping giant anyway guys thank you so much for watching once again for those of you that want to give a like to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ anyway guys thank you so much for watching god bless you all put your faith and trust in jesus christ for he's the only way the truth and the life no one gets to the father but through jesus thank you so much for watching till next time later peace